In this problem, we're going to find the regression equation. So we're given some information. We have the chest size, and then we have the weight in pounds, and it looks like we're talking about bears. So this is the chest size of a bear in inches, and this is the weight in pounds. And so part A, or the first part, wants the regression equation. So what you do is you click this here, and you click Open in StatCrunch, and it types the data into StatCrunch for you. So I already have that over here on the right. The command to find the regression equation is stat regression simple linear. You left click and then you just pick the first thing. Okay, so the first thing is chest size and then just pick the second thing. That's it. Just click compute. Don't don't press anything else. And there's the regression equation right there. It's right here. I'm going to highlight it so you see it. This equation here. So it looks like it's one decimal, so negative 210.8. So negative 210.8, and then 9.7, 9.7. Okay, it says, what is the best predicted weight of a bear with a chest size of 39 inches? Okay, here's where you have to be really careful. So before we answer this question, we have to determine, determine if we have a straight line pattern. In other words, is the correlation significant? So before you do this part, you first have to check to see if R is significant. So to do that, you look at R. Here it is right here, 0.96. And then you have to use this table here to find the critical value. So N is 6, right? N is 6. Alpha is 0.05. So we click this little chart. And then, so there's our critical value right there, 0.811, right? Alpha is 0.05, N is 6. So R is bigger than this number. So yes, we have a straight line pattern. So because we have a straight line pattern, we're going to use the line to make our prediction. If you don't have a straight line pattern, use the mean of the y's. So in this case, you would use the mean of the weights. But in this case, r is bigger than the critical value. So we have a straight line pattern. So we use the line to make our prediction. So how do you do that? It's super easy. You click on Options. You click on Edit. You scroll down right here, prediction of y. You see that? You want to enter the 39 in there under where it says prediction of y, x value. Click compute, and then you have to scroll down to find the answer. There it is right there, 165.9. I'm going to type it in, 165.9. Is the result close to the actual weight of 216 pounds. I'm going to say it's not very close to the actual weight of the bear. That's my best guess. And I was right. <laughs> All right. Um, I hope that made sense.